This week, we're gonna talk about motivation and sticking with your why. What's up, fish fans? My name is Marcus, and you're watching Marketing Madness, the Bluefish vlog. This week is gonna be a little bit different. For those of you that watch Marketing Madness on a regular basis, next week we'll have another informative video. But keep watching, because I think this video might be motivating to you. And for those of you that have never seen Marketing Madness before, this vlog usually covers tips for advertising your business. Give us a follow if you'd like to stay tuned in and receive those videos. But when we start a new year, I usually take this as an opportunity to speak to you on a personal level about business. So let's get started. This year, I wanna to talk to you about what motivates you. Some of you have seen the five-year plan video we released a few months ago and understand motivation at some level, but I want to talk to you about something deeper than that. I started Bluefish in 2007. My ex-wife and I moved to Lower Alabama in late 2004, and after trying a few different things, including purchasing a bookstore and closing it nine months later and working at New York Life as a salesperson, neither of those was a fit. With the bookstore, I trusted the previous owner of the bookstore too much and overpaid for the business. It never recovered. Now, whose fault was that? Mine. I should have done more due diligence and known what I was walking into, but I just didn't have the experience. I learned quite a bit from that situation. And working at New York Life was like trying to fit a circular peg into a square hole. Now I know a little bit more than the average bear about life insurance and investing, but that is just not who I am. Putting on a suit every day and trying to show people the benefit of something they won't enjoy, but that is important to their family, just doesn't, it isn't a fit. Now after all of that, I was seeing a little bit of success building websites, to it, so I decided to lean into it. And somewhere along the lines, I decided I wanted to grow Bluefish so that my boys would have someplace fun to work if they wanted. But I also wanted to make an impact on a city that I love and feel has so much to offer. Now, owning a business has not been an easy road, but nothing worth having ever is. There have been many of time where I've gone without a paycheck to make sure employees got theirs, where I've had to make decisions that most people will never be in the position to make. And those are rough ones. There have been times where I was sure Bluefish was going to cease to exist because a deal fell through or business just wasn't coming in. But through it all, I stuck to my why, to create a fun place to work that rewards those that bring value and make an impact on the mobile business community. You'd have to ask my employees whether this is a fun place to work, but based on the smiles on their faces and the relationships they have with their coworkers, I'd have to say it is and I'm actively looking for more ways to make Bluefish an awesome place to work. As for the making an impact portion of our mission, we have plenty of emails, written letters, and awards to show us that we are making an impact. Can we make more of an impact? Yes, and we will. Now you might be asking yourself, well, this is great, Marcus, but what does all this have to do with me? Well, here goes. You have to find your why. What are you doing all this for? Sure, being able to say you own a business is great. It's fun being able to say that as it carries some gravitas. But when the going gets tough, is the notoriety of being a business owner going to carry you through? Now, I wanna share something personal with you. Recently, I heard through the grapevine that a few other business owners had some not so nice things to say about me and Bluefish. Usually it's not that big of a deal and I just ignore it and move on. But in this specific case, it was a few people and it hit me all at the same time, and they were people that I thought were friendly. It's rough when you have spent six years, 100,000 plus of your own money, and countless hours pouring into other business owners that were not paying you, and you hear other business owners spreading bad things about Bluefish and the work we do for our clients. Listen, I'm an, I know I'm a handful. I'm an introvert that prefers to spend time at home with my family and friends. Now, you didn't see that coming, did you? I also know that the fact that I am not from Mobile means I communicate differently. A decade in DC consulting with the DOD and Department of State mean that I had to communicate in a direct manner if something needed to be done. I look at business differently, and hell, I even dress differently than most business people here in Mobile. I prefer Air Jordans over Johnson & Murphy, and I prefer a t-shirt over a button-down. And I don't think someone needs to wear a business suit every day to let me know that they do business. From the outside, it may seem that I'm arrogant. I can assure you that is not the case. I do have confidence in what we do. If I didn't, then our clients should be worried, but I know that the skills that we possess as a team are skills that have the ability to change a business forever. Now, the truth is I care a lot about this city and the 30,000 plus businesses that reside here. 
Money is great, and it's a necessary part of business, but seeing the look on someone's face when they get it, or when they start to see some traction with an advertising campaign, I love those moments. Those are what keep me going. Now, Bluefish has seen some successes over the last few years, but we're just like any other business out there. We lost quite a bit of business during COVID. We're rebuilding, and this year is looking to be our strongest yet. And just like many of you, I refuse to give up. I joke with people that I'm unemployable now because running Bluefish is everything to me. But the truth is that I'm unemployable because I can't let go of my why. I'm going to make an impact on Mobile, and it's going to be worthwhile. So, if you see me out and about, say hello. I don't bite. And if we have talked and I've helped you out, could you send me a note and let me know how that turned out? You'd be surprised at just how little positive feedback business owners get. Oh, and if you're one of those people spreading lies about me and Bluefish, you may be, have bummed me out for a day or two, but you'll hear nothing but crickets from us. We try and stay positive over here, and my mindset has always been that there's plenty of business for all of us. Perhaps you should adopt that same mindset. You won't dissuade us from our mission. And if you're local to Mobile, make sure to check out mobileal.com. We're actively promoting Mobile and the people that are making or working to make this a better place for all of us to live. And if you want to support that, then tell somebody about the website, suggest someone for the podcast, or write an article and share your love for Mobile's restaurants, events, or activities. Well, that's a wrap for this week. I want to thank you for checking in. Make sure to hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you want to talk about how Bluefish can help you grow your business, just send us a message and we'll get the conversation started.